So in the last lecture, we discuss the velocity, how can we find out the velocity of each link. All right. Let I'm repeating this one. Omega 2 was given, link length was given. So we first of all we find out the number of I centers. There are the six I centers available here. And after that, we locate them by two techniques. First of all, by observation technique, there is I12, I23, I34, and I14. And the remaining two I centers are located by this technique. All right. And I said that if the number of links are four, you can form square. If the number of links are six, you can form hexagon and so on. Now, and again I said, the dark line is presenting that I center which are completely known, like 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 1, 4. The dotted line present that I centers are unknown here, like 1, 3. So I first draw this one. I will draw this line such that it will form two triangles side by side, and this line will be a common line of that two triangles. All right? So then I calculated this one. Now, in this section, in this lecture, we will discuss how can we calculate directly the angular velocity of link 4 by the use of the angular velocity of 2 without calculating omega 3. All right? So, let's discuss. So, that I am saying omega 4 is unknown. Now, only known terms are omega 2, that is angular velocity of link 2, length of each link is given, I center we calculated already, we located them already, first by observation, then by Kennedy's theorem technique, that is according to Kennedy's theorem, all the three I center will must lie on the same straight line. So, this is the case here, we define like that. Now, in this case, I do not want to calculate omega 3. I directly want to calculate omega 4 by the use of omega 2. All right. So, let imagine this one. I am saying this link 2 is rotating like that. So, let I am taking a curve. Right, this is the curve or this is the arc. This is the arc. Right, means this length and this length is the same. Alright, so as we know omega 2, as we know this length, there is a distance between I12 and I23, we can calculate what is V23. Alright, so if this length is same, we can also say that there is this velocity vector is also equals to this one because this length is same and I am considering this is omega 2. So, this link is like that. All right. Now, this is V 2 3 also and this is satisfying this one. Now, so we want to calculate omega 4 known value is omega 2. 2 is known, 1 to calculate 4, 2, 4, find out where is the I center 2, 4. Again, 2 is known, omega 2 is known, omega 4 is unknown. We want to find out 2, sorry, we want to find out 4 by the use of 2. So, find out where is I 2, 4. This is I 2, 4. This is I 2, 4. Now, again, I have 3 links in consideration. 1, 2 and 4. 1 is fixed, 2 is movable, 4 is also movable. One is fixed, 2 is movable, 4 is also movable. Alright, now this is I12 this is I 1 4, this is 1, so this is I 1 4, 
on the same straight line will lie I two four. I two four. So omega two is known. I think the distance between the I one two and I two four is also known. The distance between the I one two and two four is also known. So we can calculate what is B two four. All right. So in this case, omega two is known. The distance is known. So in this case, omega two is known. Distance is known. We can easily calculate what is omega. Sorry, V two four. So V two four is equals to let omega two into the distance between these two points. That is I one two and I. Two four. All right. So, omega two into this distance from I one two to I two four will provide V two four at the point I two four. All right. It's a simple rule. If I'm saying omega two is this one, that is known. This is the distance, so the velocity will be this one. If the link length is increasing, if the link length is increasing, and if distance is this much, distance is this much. In that case, omega two into this distance will provide v two four. That's why I'm making a same straight line that is satisfying both v two three and v. Two four because we are considering this is lying on same line here. So omega two into this distance will providing this one. Omega two into this distance will providing this one. As the radius increases, velocity will also increases. So we know what is this value two four means I two is satisfying the two four. I one two is satisfying the V two four. So according to our previous consideration, we can also say that there is. I one four, I one four will also satisfy V two four. I one four will also satisfy V two four. All right. So means where is I one four? This is I one four. So this will also satisfy this point, this velocity vector. Like that. All right. This will also satisfy. This one, I one four will also satisfy the I two four. That is V two four. So I one four also satisfying V two four. That is at the I two four. So this is the satisfy. All right. So I think we know what is V two four. I think we know what is the distance between the point one four and two four. We can easily calculate what is omega four. It is quite easily done. All right. So in this case. We know what is V two four. We know what is the distance between I one four and two four. So we can easily calculate what is omega four here. So I can write omega four is equals to. So this is V two four divided by the distance that is I one four to I two four. We know what is V two four. We know what is the distance between I one four and two four. So, by the use of this one, we can calculate what is omega four here. All right. Now, so now from this case, this is the line that is from I one four two satisfying at the I two four point. So, if this is the link length, and I'm taking another arc here, if I'm saying this is the arc here. So now this line, this line will provide v three four. Actually, this is v three four. Actually, you can see this one. This is the link. It's moving like that. Like that. So this is v three four, v three four. But for this upper line, this line. For this lower line, 
so we can also calculate what will be v 3 4 here means this velocity vector this will be so now if i'm saying if the link length this one is this much up to and i have not sufficient space here so in this case this is the length of this link in that case this will provide So this velocity vector is v24. This is v24. So this line, this line actually this one. All right. So it's simple. Means if we know what is omega 2, we know all the distances, and we want to calculate what is the angular velocity of link 4. In that case. We simply want to find out where is I24. So this is I24. So first of all, I will find out this one, this vector. Now this will satisfy I24. This will satisfy I24. So I will find out what is V24 because I know what is omega 2. I know what is this distance. So omega 2 into this distance will provide V24. Now. I14 will also satisfying V24. So I14 will also satisfying V24. So we know what is V24. We know what is distance between the I14 and V24. In that case, we can easily calculate what is omega 4. This is the shortest proof. So if the number of links are 6 and let omega 2 is given and we want to calculate the omega 6. If omega 2 is given and we want to calculate the omega 6. In that case, we have to find out where is I26. 2 is known, 6 have to be calculated. So we want to calculate where we have to find out where is I26. In this case, 2 is known, 4 have to be calculated. So we have to find out where is I24. This is the shortest technique. Okay? Thank you.